Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Trinitatex Whoa! Today we are going to be working on a couple of different things. We are finally going to be getting a roof on our house. Well, not the entire thing, but like over the portal rooms, the finished portal rooms, we're going to be getting a roof over that section and we're also going to be working on this newer building over to the right that we started last episode and kind of getting the foundation down for more portal rooms to come. So we're going to be doing that and then I would like to, hopefully we have time for this, we should because this hopefully won't take that long, I would also like to make a surface mob trap in Thetis because, oh my god, we need some new armor badly. I'm tired of this armor, we die too quickly, our chest piece honestly isn't terrible it's not very good though it could definitely be better i think it's going to be the first thing that i replaced and it's already snowing why is it already snowing okay we need to go up one block up here we need to go down two okay we need that and then we need to go over three and down and uh, three more and down and three more and down like this i think Okay, we're going to need to replace uh, this block here. I don't think I have an axe anymore. I don't. So we're going to be kind of ghetto and use a pick. There we go. And uh, we're going to continue using this for our roof. We've used it in the roof over on the left already. And I believe this is how I want it. No, that is not how I want it. How did that happen? Oh, I got it. I got it. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be like this. Hold on. Get out of here, Thatch. Oh, this actually breaks really easy easily with a pick. I didn't think it was going to. Get that block back. We need to get rid of some of the snow. I'm already screwing this up. It needs to go like that, 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 and then down one more. I think where's my dirt? Where's my dirteth? Right there. I think that is correct. I think that's correct. It's going to be correct enough for us today. <laughs> if it's not correct, I'll just go ahead and fix it off camera. I think we dropped a thatch block up here. So let's painstakingly slow run back up here. And we will eventually have to put some half slabs down on... Uh, can I grab that? Um, okay, thank you. That was weird. <laughs> I was definitely going up there. I wasn't grabbing it. We're definitely going to need to throw some half slabs on those eventually. I don't really feel like making those right now, but if we have time, we might do that today just so snow does not get on our roof. But boom, our portal rooms are now covered and there's like a nice subtle blue glow over there now. It's very lovely. Very lovely. I'm going to go ahead and come over here and I think we might actually need to grab ladders. Yeah, we didn't have ladders over here or we didn't put them down last episode. But before we do that, let's go ahead and just paint these. I have uh, 17, I think it was. We have, so oh, reindeer. Reindeer, what are you doing? I wonder if reindeers only come out when they snow. When they snow and the reindeers themselves snow. No, when it's snowing outside. Okay, we have one more. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't think we can break these. We can't. We have to break this bottom one. And since we don't have an axe, we have to be ghetto again. Okay, there we go. And we didn't pick up one of those. Slap down this wood and slap down these pillars. Boom. So we need one, two, three, four, five more die. And my flooring is getting snow on it and I'm not happy about it. Oh yeah, and look at this. I let the trees grow. Actually, I got really lazy and I got some bones and then I bone wheeled them, <laughs> which probably ended up taking a lot longer than it would have to just let the trees grow. But I'm glad I did get the bone meal because I had to try the tree a couple different times before I got a shape that I liked. And then I went ahead and just added the other two. And it's just a nice little, a nice little indoor open thing. Although it is right next to this garden area. So it doesn't really make any sense that there's like an outdoor area right next to a garden area. And I really wish that I didn't have to put the glass in the background. But I, I had to because there's the back black blocks behind there so it kind of like ruins the aesthetic of it being outside because with the glass there it just doesn't look like it's outside but anyways moving on what do we need now i came over here for ladders and i honestly have no idea oh, okay i was gonna say i have no idea where the ladders are but i found them it's all good let's let's wiggle trot over here and go ahead and slap these down uh, where do these need to go? I believe it needs to go on this side? 
this side? This side, yes, this side, there we go. I'm trying to figure it out from pictures. And then we're gonna go ahead and slap these down. And I apologize if you can tell in my voice, it's slowly, it's actually like as I'm saying this, it's going away even further. I, uh, as some of you know, I am a dance teacher and I actually had a recital yesterday for myself for one class that I take every week. And I don't know what happened, but when I tried to catch my breath afterwards, it would just like kept getting stuck in my throat, which, oh, I, I fell. Uh, which, I mean, happens every once in a while, but it like really screwed up my throat. And now I keep on getting froggy, which is actually super frustrating because I was sick a couple months back and I was sick for about a month. And I just got over the frogginess. I kept on getting froggy even after I was no longer sick. And it's super irritating because I just got over that like this month. And now because of yesterday, I'm froggy again. And it's irritating. It's so annoying when recording. You all of a sudden have to stop and be like clear your throat and then try to pick up where you left off so that way it's like a seamless cut it's rather frustrating i don't know if you guys ever noticed that but about a month ago i was doing that a lot i would just stop talking like mid-sentence clear my throat and then try to pick up back where i left off but anyways so continuing on to what we're doing right now this is like the floor obviously wow good good description kylie oh the floor um, so this is the floor, as I said, and this is not going to be where our portals grow, but we're going to go up one more level and then get to the floor. So from here, we want to go up a corner and then up four more, one, two, three, and then we'll go up one more from there. And we're just kind of bowing out the uh, room, the house, the building, the building. We're bowing out the building a little bit because it actually needed to be longer than what I originally made it. And instead of just being smart and building out the base, I decided to do this because I'm crafty. <laughs> uh, and then we also need to put one more back block right there. And then what do we need to do from here? We are going to put these blocks here for our uh, second part of our wall. I really wish it would stop snowing because it's just so distracting. Why you gotta be so distracting? So we have this and then our ladder is going to go ahead and continue up this way. And then from here, we are gonna take dark blocks as well as some bridges. And we're actually almost out of bridges and I don't know, I think we're actually be just, just enough. So we're gonna put a block there, block there, and then three blocks over right there and there put this across these little blocks that are sticking up right here are going to be kind of like what the middle block over in another chest or chest portal room our other portal room so basically we're just going to put bridges off from this and stuff so we can put stuff in front of our portal but let's go ahead and continue this up to and then one more and then up to that's why I left that one blank so I could do that and I didn't do that for the other ones but that's cool and it's finally stopped snowing and it's almost dark now let's try to get rid of the snow I do need to throw some half slabs on these which I actually have some so let's go ahead and just do that now so that doesn't irritate me I actually don't need to put one here because there is going to be more of these here for a wall like a so and let's just go ahead and slap down some lighting real quick and then we will be done for this building for today and we'll definitely obviously add on some more because it is not done it is missing a roof but uh here is what we have so far it just kind of bows out i think the bowing out thing adds some character or something right right and is there any snow down here i don't oh yeah there's snow i was gonna say i don't think there should be any there definitely is okay let's go and go through here i might put some tiki torches in here i just thought about that might put some tiki torches in there i might also throw some lights up in those bridges because the bridge or the the lights won't affect the tree stuff if they're on bridges there we go words i've had a really difficult time speaking today uh can we sleep thank you so now what we are going to do is if this black screen will go away, thank you. I'm actually going to go ahead and clear out my inventory real quick. And then we are going to head over to Thesis. So, or Thesis, I said Thesis again. It's Thetis. We're going to head over to Thetis and make a mob trap. So I'll be right back. 
Alrighty guys, I have cleared out my inventory and I've also grabbed some of the things that we are going to need for our mom trap. So I just brought some blocks that I know I'm pretty positive actually that come from Thetis. I have four buckets of water and then also some bridges. We only need two bridges, but I just grabbed the whole stick. And let's go ahead and go to Thetis. We're going to Thetis because my goal is, ooh, and it's dark out. Let's go back and let's grab a bed real quick. Uh, the reason that we're going to Thetis is because Thetis has turtles and uh, I want to make a turtle, a uh, turtle, oh my God. I want to make a turtle shell chest thing. So what are we looking for right now? We need supplies to make a bed. Let's just make a simple leaf bed because we're simple folks like that. And um, am I gonna get this right? Am I? Is this right? No. And my voice is going away again. Voice, why are you so dumb? And this is also wrong. What is it? <laughs> I don't remember these things. I do not know. Oh my god. I was so close. <sighs> okay. Go like this. And like and this. And then this, right? No. The other way around. This. No. This. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. I did that the first try. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go ahead. We'll drop off our leaves real quick. And then let's get back to Thetis now. So I am aiming for... Thetis, I believe, has green turtles and purple turtles, and I'm aiming for a purple turtle chest thing. Um, chest? Chest piece? Yes, words. They're things. Words are things. Let's go ahead and just look at the recipe real quick. I'm pretty positive you need three, and I believe it is in armor, right? I passed the green one. Purple one? Yes, purple one. So we're gonna need primitive silk and three purple turtle shells. I think I do have one primitive silk. And I don't remember if they give you, if the primitive silk gives you two yarn or only one. I can't remember, but uh, we'll we'll get more if we need it. Oh, did that did that guy really already die? Dang, we are strong. Let's go ahead and I kind of want to do it a little far off from our diagonal mine, just so we aren't getting a bunch of mobs spawning in there as well. And you know what? There are a lot of hostile mobs I am realizing in Thetis on the surface. They are hurting. Okay, let's go ahead and do it in this section. We'll have to even it out just a wee bit. So get rid of that guy. We'll go ahead and fill in this little water and then dig out some of this stuff. I don't think I have any of these plants. And I can tell you right now, these mobs are going to get old real fast. My only concern is that I have yet to actually run into a turtle yet. So I'm wondering how rare they are. If they're more rare. Because you can get, do not kill me. I'm going to be really sad if you kill me. Let's eat some meat real quick. Uh, I know that you can get purple turtles in cryo, but I wanted to try to get them earlier if possible. My god, there are so many mobs everywhere. Can you kindly not? Kindly? Kindly? Thank you. So what we need to do right now is let's go ahead and go up to here, maybe? Just so we can get out of the way of that. And these spread out, I'm gonna guess five, I think. So go up to here, maybe? Okay, perfect. So then we can go like this, and then they'll get stuck down here, and we'll go ahead and put a hole here, and this. I don't think this is how I normally do it. I can't remember. I don't always remember these things. We're gonna go one more out. Ha, <laughs> get stuck in there, sucker. We're gonna go out one more though, because I think out one more is what I normally do. There we go, and then we'll get pushed into here. These mobs, though, they're really annoying. And then we're gonna go like this. We need to go back a couple, throw down a bridge right here, and we need to go, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five. Can you not, okay, I'm just clicking out and clicking back in. This is really irritating. Did I say five? Yes, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to put a block back right here and throw this down. And then hopefully mobs don't spawn everywhere around here. I'm hoping that they won't. Go ahead and get rid of that. And do you... No, 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 no. I'm so close to death right now. 
Ugh, get out of here. Okay, I am gonna go. I'm gonna get this set up. I always try to make surface mob traps on camera and they just never work out because they're such a pain in the butt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repeat that on this side. I'm hopefully not gonna die and I will be back with you. Alrighty guys, I have finally successfully done this. I actually did end up dying once because I wasn't paying attention as usual. So I'm not happy now. I'm not happy. We're gonna go ahead. So what you do is where you're standing, you click just where, just that last block that you can hit. At least for iPhone. I don't know how to do it on iPad. And then we want to get up to here and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a whole row of blocks and then I'll go back through and get rid of them just because it's easier it's simple and easier we want to go like that and uh, I don't really know what I want to do right there I guess I'm just gonna leave that let's go ahead and do it the other way I'll stop just like one block short of where the last water where the last water piece is no no go away Thank you for your air essence, water essence, whatever that is, the water essence, thank you. Goodbye now, good sir. Uh, we want to stop one block short of where the water starts though, so that way if they fall off, that way they fall into water, or they more they are more likely to fall into water. And then I want to go every other one up here. No, get out of here. Thank you. Those ones actually die pretty easily, so they aren't that annoying. And then, so we're going to do every other one through here. And then underneath of that, every other one, we are going to go ahead and just get rid of the blocks. So that way, am I doing this correctly? Yes, I'm doing this correctly. So this way, there is as many blocks as possible that have sunlight on them, which is how the mobs spawn. But also without, um, and I actually did this the wrong way because I wanted the block above me to, um have a mob spawning point on it but you know what that's okay you live you learn so normally you would i guess i can't put that there you would normally want to have the block above your head have you would want a block right here basically just so that way mobs aren't falling on your head i'm just gonna put that there even though it's not best i'm just gonna put it there so that way mobs aren't constantly falling on my head let's go ahead and kill these guys i actually need it i only brought four buckets you actually need six because you need them on the side so is there any water sources around here they aren't but that is okay because i have a water world over here where i collect my water so let's go ahead and do this and this is basically just a terror world that i spawned until i found a big lake of water and we only need two so we'll only take two and then we'll go ahead and plop one there, plop another one here, and then get rid of these. And this also works as a nighttime farm as well. Um, you just take the torches away at night, and then boom. You actually probably don't need to take the torches away, but it might help a little bit with spawning. What I do want to do is I kind of want to um, get rid of this area here, because if they spawn on uh that one last block up in the air they could possibly jump off and go somewhere else even though they're not fully landing in the water at least they'll be more likely to go that way and then this one should be fine because we need to get up that way to get back to our portal anyways so let's go ahead let's kill these dudes i'm not gonna really sit here and farm at this today just because i don't have time and i don't really feel like it anyways but just kind of jump back and forth kill them blah 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 you can put a chest up there it's all fancy it's all good i'm really curious to see what those guys drop because i don't think i've gotten anything from them but i did get a couple good things i got some blue raw leather which is good for pants you can make some pretty good pants for speed things with those and then obviously water essence as well that's another thing that we need to work on we don't actually have a trinket we're not wearing a trinket right now so we could definitely do for one of those no uh eat some food <laughs> eat some insect meat get out of here we're leaving leaving now okay let's go eat something what was i talking about though oh trinkets we really need to get a good trinket going and what i'd like to do is i kind of want to go back to seth and try to get uh a portal going to Alba because from Alba, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something to eat. Do I have potions somewhere though? Here they are. 
Uh, I really want to go to Elba, though, so that way I can get a weird feather necklace. A weird feather necklace has 50% fall resistance, so that's really, really good. And it's actually relatively easy to get with a surface mob trap. So I would like to do that, but I also kind of want to keep heading towards Lilith because I'd still like to get to electronics because we still have yet to do that. But I think this is gonna be it. I think I talked about everything that I wanted to. I think I did. Uh, and again, last episode was a world download, so that will still be in the description. I don't know when I'm gonna do another one, maybe at 30. I might do it at 25, I might do it at 20. I have no clue. But I think that is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Trinchuk X. Woo! Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.